It seems traditional laptops have been aiming for paper thin lately, and are pretty close to that goal, thin to the point of sacrificing durability, I'd say. Of course, with that said, they're pretty sleek. Gaming laptops, on the other hand, have been taking the opposite approach, but maybe today that's set to change. I've also got some quick Vega news, so stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. If there's really one thing the gaming laptop market has done lately is fit beefier and beefier specs into portable-ish devices. It actually has been pretty amazing to see full desktop GPUs and what can still fit in your lap, but at some point it just kind of defeats the purpose of a laptop. I mean, sure, they're still far more portable than a full PC, but while the more traditional laptop goes for practically paper thin, gaming laptops, well, aren't. Gigabyte is looking to change that with their new Aero 15. As you can see, they've pretty well succeeded. This thing is incredibly thin for a gaming laptop, coming in at a whopping 1.9 centimeters or 0.75 inches at its thinnest part. It's also got colors. No, not its casing, though it does have different color shells. What I'm talking about is incredible color reproduction, as it's the first laptop to include an X-Rite Pantone certified display. For those who don't know, Pantone, a company made famous for accurate color representation and printing, was absorbed by X-Rite, a company known for their color measurement tools and software. So this is a nice laptop for not just gamers, but content creators. Speaking of the panel, it's 15.6 inches, yet according to PC Gamer, it has the footprint of a 14-inch laptop. It also comes in both 1080p and 4K, with the 4K version coming sometime in Q3. The Aero 15 actually comes with a full desktop 1060 GPU, that's what I'm talking about. It also comes with two M.2 PCI Express ports for a couple blazing fast SSDs, two DDR4 slots, one Thunderbolt 3 port, one HDMI 2.0 port, one mini display port 1.3, three USB 3.0 ports, and gigabit ethernet. Please Google, where, where's fiber? As far as the CPU, the Aero 15 includes the four core eight thread Intel i7-7700HQ. One thing that PC Gamer points out as a concern, and I completely agree, is heat. I want to love this, and I certainly commend Gigabyte for pulling it off, but it's really thin and will probably have some major heat dissipation issues, followed by inevitable throttling. Of course, they're touting their Supra Cool cooling technology that, quote, incorporates specially designed dual fan and heat pipe systems that take care of both GPU and CPU. Maybe they truly pulled it off. Of course, time, as always, will tell. So what's the price of this decently thin and light laptop for gaming, you ask? Well, it's not cheap and starts off at a whopping $1,900. If you want to buy yours, I do have an affiliate link in the description and it would help me a ton if you use that for your purchase. Next up is more or less complete and utter unbridled confirmation that Vega is on schedule to be here. Wait for it. Hold on. It's confirmed by AMD that Vega is coming in the second quarter of this year. I know I've pretty well already confirmed it, but some people disagree that the Facebook reply wasn't really a link, though I'd argue they probably wouldn't have said it had they not heard anything, and I have no doubt anyone who actually has access to their social media account would be pretty filled in. But either way, in AMD's first quarter earnings call, the CEO and president, Dr. Lisa Su, specifically stated they're on track to launch for Q2. So there you have it. Basically, sometime before the end of June. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.